Hello and welcome to this tutorial. My name is Lasse. I'm part of the LEGO Mindstorms team. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make your first program. For this, we'll need the LEGO Mindstorms EV3 programmable brick. We also call this the P-brick. We'll need a USB cable. And we'll need a computer with the LEGO Mindstorms EV3 Home Edition software installed. So let's get started. This is the start screen of the software. We also call this the lobby. This is where you get access to building and programming instructions for the robots. In this tutorial, we're going to focus on programming. So we're going to create a new project. To do this, you click the tab up here. This will open up the programming interface in the software. And that's what you see here. In the center, we have the programming canvas. This is where you build your program. To build a program, you need blocks. And the blocks you can find down here in the bottom, we call this the palette. And we have different categories of blocks down here. I'll describe some of these in more details in the later tutorials. On the right side, you can see the hardware page. This is where you can get details on the P-brick that you've connected. So when I'm going to connect the EV3 later, I'm going to show you a bit more down here. Up here in the corner, we have what's called the content editor. This is where you can document your work. We're going to close that for now and focus on programming. So up here, we have different tabs. On the upper tab, you can select between different projects. And inside the project, we have another set of tabs. And this is where you can have your different programs. We're going to stick with one program. But first, I want to give this program a name. So I'm going to double click this. And I'm going to call it my first program and hit Enter. Now, a good thing is also to always save your projects. So I'm going to do this now. I'm going to save this as my first project. Now we're ready to connect the P-brick. We're going to do this with the USB cable. So we're going to take the USB cable and plug it into the computer. And we're going to take the other end and plug it into the P-brick. Now you can see here in the hardware page, it's going to show the details about the P-brick that I've connected. To see that it's connected, you can see the red icon here that says EV3. And that shows you if you're connected or not. Let's build a program for the P-brick. So I'm going to make a small program that is just going to make the EV3 say a sound. To do this, I'll select the sound block down here. So I'm going to drag this up and place it behind the start block. Our start block is where your program starts. To select which sound I want to play, I press the white field up here on the block. And I'm going to go into the LEGO sound files to select the sound. And i got to find a good sound down here under expressions. And let's do the fanfare. So that was the software playing a preview of it. Now we're ready to download this program that we've built to the P-Break. To download it, we need to go down to the hardware page and press this download icon. When I press this, it's going to transfer this program down to the P-Break. Like that. The sound you heard tells you that the program was downloaded. So if we go to the P-Break to run the program, we need to go to the second tab, which is our projects. And here you can see the project that we named My First Project. And then we open that up by pressing Enter. And you can see that My First Program is in here. So we go down to that and press Enter to run it. So that's how you create your first program. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to use motors. See you then.